Hey guys, this is Joe with Sloppy Joe Shred Shack. I thought I'd make a video today because I haven't made one in a while. Um, got this new gimbal, kind of wanted to test it out. But I kind of wanted to give you guys an update as to what's going on in my life right now. So let's just cut to that silly logo reveal. I assume some of you have seen my video of me kind of taking a break for a while. Well, that was pre-COVID-19 and things were a little bit different then. Um, long story short, my girlfriend owns a dance studio and she needed my cameras so she could record all of her classes and transition her entire dance studio online, which was incredible. You know, she has like 200 students you know, and teachers and different things like that. So it was uh, it was a bit of a transition and it was really stressful and all that. So I, I actually ended my channel then took a hiatus at the perfect time because that was the, the last video that was um, put out was like the beginning of the entire pandemic and outbreak. It was incredible the amount of change that happened since then. And I'm not going to get into the politics of it. I think it's kind of silly that it's political. I'll be completely frank. I'm not going to get into it, but I think it's really dumb that people are making this political issue. All of her teachers had to transition online and it only took her about a week, which was incredible. So hats off to her for being one of the businesses that are okay with evolving in today's society. That's it's right now in the business community. It's evolve or die. But yeah, you know, and I guess back to guitar stuff. Um, I'm working on a few things right now. Uh, I have a, a very cool thing coming out. I basically learned how to make a patch for a Boss HM2 on my Line 6 Helix. And um, I'm not gonna lie, it sounds really convincing. I'm gonna show a clip of it right here. Uh, it was a uh, how it started was a friend of mine, Kyle, kind of wanted to make like a gate creeper type demo for fun. And that's awesome, you know, because I'm really into that old school Swedish death metal. And gate creeper definitely plays at least with that that guitar tone. They kind of sound a little bit more like a hardcore ish metal thing. But needless to say, like these demos are turning out really, really awesome. And then I am also working on um, something else right now, uh, where it's, which it's a little bit more like virtuoso pop guitar. I don't know. It's kind of got like a goofy sound to it. It's really danceable for sure. So I'll do a small clip of it right now. So yeah, obviously those are just demos, you know, but it's really fun, I'm not gonna lie. I'm having a ton of fun getting back into recording and all of that. I gotta find my dog, I haven't heard her in a while. Lou! Oh, there she is, I found her. Okay, good. But yeah, right now I'm in the back 40 behind the hose. And um, but yeah, this music is really, really fun and great. And I'm not gonna lie, it, uh, the one thing that was lacking in my life was the, uh, the creative aspect was gone, you know. Um, you know, when you demo a bunch of equipment, especially guitars, you know, it's I have a, I have a procedure. It's like clean, overdrive, dirty, and lead tones. And then, like, what happens on top of that is then I have like <laughs> different riffs for each one and every single pickup position. So it gets a little bit more analytical, which is kind of my style when it comes to my demos and stuff like that. Um, I kind of want you to make your own decision on the guitar sound. I don't want to be just like masturbating the fretboard 
and not giving you like what the gear actually sounds like. Yeah, cool. This guy can, let, let's say I was just a virtuoso and I just ripped a bunch of crazy Steve I ish kind of leads. How does that help you make a purchasing decision? That's my question. You know, but unfortunately what happens is I also kind of lose the creativity aspect. I, I, I forget how to write songs and, you know, how to compose. And to be honest, like, it's, uh, it's tough, you know, to be creative when you're trying to be analytical, you know, and the, the argument can be made for it. But, I mean, so that's kind of what I've been working on. I, I could probably stop um, <laughs> ranting about it for now. that I'm really liking that's going on in the guitar community right now. Um, one, like, apparent, uh, the other day, I guess, uh, Harley Benton uh, released, or posted a photo on their Facebook, and I'll show it right now. Oh my God, it hurts my eyes, and every commenter ever. <laughs> show it again but yeah like obviously i mean it looks like a uh it looks like the re-release of the dullahan um now i can't verify this and i'm just kind of walking in the woods so i can't i'm not in front of my computer or anything and i'm not willing to go and look this up on the phone while i'm recording this and i probably should have you know maybe reviewed this information before i went and started talking about it but I think Kiesel Guitars sent a cease and desist order to um, Harley Benton based on their headless model that came out recently. Cause it kind of looks a whole heck of a lot like one of their headless models. <laughs> you know, I'll kind of put a side-by-side -side comparison, you know. Um, and the reason I was interested is because about a month ago, I was like, I should, I should buy a Harley Benton. I've been kind of wanting to do that for a while. They're all the rage on the internet right now. You know, back in 2008, when I was into affordable guitars, it was like agile guitars and stuff from rondomusic.com. And apparently they're still around because I went and checked them out the other day. So that was awesome. I don't know, Harley Benton's probably like the new flavor of the week type situation, but um, it's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, the headless model, I mean, apparently it had steel or say stainless steel frets. Unfortunately, only 22 frets, which is whatever, but all the demos I heard sounded really good and everyone kind of lavish praise on a $400 guitar on that, a $400 headless model guitar, you know. Uh, by the way, in the comments below, tell me if you like headless guitars. You know, do you think they're ugly? Whatever, I don't, give me your opinion. I, personally, my Strandberg is the best guitar that I have ever played. So, I am, I have a natural predisposition now to my opinion on headless guitars. But let me tell you, they are cool and I like them. Um, ah, got spiders on me. But um, yeah, it's it's pretty awesome, you know, and I kind of want to grab one, you know, and it was that, that baby blue color. So very interested in, I mean, I'm not gonna lie. When it gets released, I will be buying it. That's just expect that to be on the channel. Um, I want another headless guitar, I, but I want a six string. I at least try it, you know, and see if I like it, you know, because I, you know, I wouldn't mind dumping two grand on another Strandberg, but I mean, that's $2,000. It's not a small chunk of change, you know, and you know, I'm not the richest man in the world at all by any stretch of the imagination. I drive a 2007 CRV, dude. <laughs> but I tell you what, I will buy another Strandberg at some point. You know, I kind of want to get an eight string. I'm gonna, I'm just, you know, I gotta slow down. I just keep shooting all over the place with all my crazy words here. But yeah, so that's kind of the new cool thing that I saw on the internet the other day when I came to the guitar community. So that was awesome. Also, 
something else that's been interesting me lately, you know, this is probably more old news for, you know, most of the guitar community and all that fun stuff. But it, those new Apple phones are so freaking cool. That new uh, headstock, I think, what is it called? The Kalamazoo headstock. By the way, Kalamazoo is in Michigan. So <laughs> naturally excited about that. I am a Michigan boy. Honestly, we're just <laughs> we're just the Alabama of the North up here. I mean, I mean, take that <laughs> take that for what you want. Uh, <laughs> we're Alabamans, Alabamians, people from Alabama. I don't know their names, <laughs> but with like a northern accent. <sighs> well, luckily, I live in a place that's heavily Finnish. So heavily Finnish. I think it's the most populated Finnish place outside of Finland itself, or something like that. So that's a pretty cool little factoid about where I'm from. But, oh, back to, I gotta stop segueing here, guys. Um, but back to the issue at hand, those freaking Apple phones, dude. Like those things are sick. Like, honestly, like I've never been a big Apple phone fan at all. My friend Duncan has a really nice vintage Epiphone that's worth a lot, a lot of money and it sounds amazing. You know, and I've always wanted to like fall in love with the Gibson guitar. You know, I had that Gibson SG for a long time, sold it, bought it back. I had that in a few videos. If you've been a long time subscriber and watcher, you know, you've seen that brown SG. Uh, I just could not fall in love with it as much as I wanted to. And SGs are some of the coolest looking guitars that money can buy, honestly. Like, I love the way they look, but they all play like garbage. <laughs> I, I can't stand the way they play. I hate the scale length. Ugh. Ugh. You know, and they don't stay in tune to save their lives. Like, I can't, I can't get behind that. And. You know, obviously I can't get behind the weird Gibson controversy either. You know, of them suing everybody for, you know, making a guitar that looks like a general guitar. Like, crazy stuff. It's something. We, we live in an interesting time. But back to the Apple phones. Those things are sweet. The headstock looks awesome. Like, I want to buy one of those LP Juniors just because, like, I've, <laughs> I want a guitar with P90s in it. Like, that would be awesome. Like. And then also, like, the headstock just looks so mint, dude. I love that thing. It is beautiful, I have to tell you what. My dog is getting a little, getting a little crazy over here. Hey, Lou! Lou! There she is. She's beautiful. Yeah, the, the, those new Epiphones are sick. You know, and I keep hearing that they're really well built, and a lot of people actually prefer them over Gibsons. I mean, probably outside of, like, I'm not gonna lie, I've never played like a super ultra, ultra high-end Gibson, but also like I shouldn't have to spend super ultra, ultra money to get like normal guitar playability. <laughs> I don't know, it just seems a little acidine to me for sure, but you know, whatever, to each their own. I know people that have bought Gibsons while, you know, everyone was on the Gibson hate train, so and they love them. Yeah, I just can't fall in love with them, you know. Um, another cool thing that I saw the other day was Balaguer, or however you say their name, Balaguer or whatever, I don't know. Um, they released a new headless model, so that's kind of cool. I, I wish I could take a look at that. But maybe one day these brands will send me stuff. <laughs> now, since, <laughs> fun facts, uh, since I've started the channel, I have only had one, no, two brands reach out to me. One was really exciting and cool, and then he never sent me anything. I was really mad about that. Um, not gonna name the name, but it was a boutique pickup company. Well, and like, and they specialize in like high gain metal stuff. Well, they sent a message that was like, hey, we kind of want you to demo this. Can we send you this? And then I was like, yeah, blah, 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 blah. Never replied back. You reached out to me, you silly goose. But anyways, I would love, love for them to reach back out, honestly. Or any brand, <laughs> you know, like I have fun doing this, but you know, luckily lately 
it's been more of the creative end and me just kind of venting in the woods about stuff now. And I kind of, maybe this is going to be a new thing. Maybe I, you know, go for a walk and just talk about what's going on with guitar right now, at least with me, what I'm discovering, what's going on in the community. Maybe you can ask me questions about what's going on, you know, like it's a little cathartic for me. I'm not going to lie to you. Like, this is fun. I like doing this. I take my dog for a walk. And, you know, it's 80 degrees, but the reason I'm wearing all this stuff, you know, my hat and all that, and I'm sweaty right now. But it's because the bugs are so bad, and I had to put a boatload of bug spray on, so. But yeah, so those are the big things that I kind of see what's going on in the guitar community right now. You know, at least like from like a product standpoint, you know. If there's something that you guys want me to demo, you know, feel free to leave it in the comment section below. And if you're someone who's willing to actually send the gear to me to demo, I'm all about that. Like, if you're like, hey, Joe, I think people need to know about this, feel free to send it to me. I'll give you my address. Or I'll give you someone else's address and I'll pick it up from their house so you don't know where I live. Yeah, creeps. <laughs> but, you know, that hasn't happened yet. So, you know, feel free to slide into my DMs if you're curious. You know, I put my email address in the description box below, so definitely go take a look at that. Also, you know, if you're kind of curious to, uh, you know, all the stuff that I kind of use on a daily basis. It's right down there. Take a look, bucko. Tell you what, it's pretty good stuff. I've been talking for about 20 minutes now. I mean, post edit, you know, it's not going to be anywhere near that. But, you know, hopefully, you know, this kind of becomes a thing. Me taking a walk in the woods and kind of talking about what's going on in the guitar community right now. I'd like that. That'd be that'd be a lot of fun. And I really kind of hope that this kind of takes off, you know. And if you like this video, you know, definitely hit like, leave a comment on if you even liked it, dude. That'd be dope. I'd be all about that. I want to hear from you guys. I want to, what are you guys doing out there right now? You know, like we're amidst a pandemic or a post pandemic or all, well, no, we're not post pandemic. This is, I mean, we're in still mid pandemic. There's no um, vaccine for it yet. You know, just don't be stupid out there, guys. Don't be an asshole. Let's be serious. Don't be an asshole. Love each other not hard you know don't politicize stuff that doesn't need to be politicized you know let's be safe let's have fun let's rock out let's play guitar let's you know <laughs> drink a few beers and you know have a great have a great time with each other and being in each other's presence now that we're able to be you know that's that's what I care about being able to see my friends I kind of took that for granted you know I'm pre pre COVID-19 you know when someone invited me out, I was kind of like, oh God, I don't want to do that. Oh, I could do so much other stuff like sit on my couch. You know, now it's like, yeah, dude, I want to hang out. Like I miss you, you know? And the one thing that this pandemic has taught me is that we all just need to learn how to love, you know? And we all just need to not take for granted these little simple pleasures in life that simple i took for granted being able to just walk into a guitar store and grab a guitar and make a video you know and, and all that and you know right now i can't do that it's that simple you know i just hope you guys appreciate the little things in the future and don't take for granted the things that shouldn't be taken granted for anymore because it's not right and it's not fair if you do but if you like anything that I'm saying here, or like the content that I'm putting out, or you want to see this go on in the future, definitely click subscribe, smash that bell notification, follow me in all the upcoming videos. You know, <laughs> you can always hit me up on Instagram at Sloppy Joe's underscore shred check. You can also hit me up on Facebook. Now just type it into your keyboard, you goober. Sloppy Joe's shred check. <laughs> but like I was saying before, guys, thank you for watching. Um, I love you. I miss uh, being able to do videos, but honestly, I think the changes that happened in my life now, we're definitely going to have better content. We're going to have more fun, and we're not going to take things for granted anymore. All right.